Hi guys, The Litz here, and more Pac-Man repack news has surfaced. Also, please excuse my backdrop. Maybe one day I'll have a fancy apartment with all Pac-Man stuff all around, and not just a mess of a studio that you all see today, but I think it adds character. I think there's something charismatic about the messiness of the room behind me. Anyways, let's jump and hop straight into the news. More Pac-Man World Repack details have been discussed on Bandai Namco's Anime Expo livestream. The hover jump lets Pac-Man flutter in the air for a bit. Like the GBA version, rescuing the Pac-Man family is optional. The UI is changed to make keeping track of items much easier. This is excellent news to hear that the hover jump is coming back, that rescuing the Pac family is optional, but don't be that guy. Don't be like the fathers of the families who've left them before. And just save the children, save the family. People don't want to be left behind. Don't be that guy unless you're some sweaty Reddit speedrunner. Anyway, the UI has changed to make keeping track of items much easier. Um, honestly, collecting the Pac-Man letters has always been fun to me in the original GBA version. So I'm like really looking forward to that. This game just looks so good. I'm so excited to be like just exploring these worlds. These just look like more screenshots from the extended trailers though that you'd see in my last video if you haven't checked it out already. Additionally, there will be extra polish to the platforming so Pac-Man doesn't slip off certain edges he jumps onto. Pac-Man becomes Mega Pac-Man when eating a power pellet. Talk Man has a jetpack and shoots at Pac-Man. He also appears to be involved in the King Galaxian battle. Oh my god, that's sick. I'm really excited for the, these boss battles, to be completely honest. Extra polish and platforming? That's what I like to hear. You guys have no idea what this means. Extra polish and platforming? That's exactly what I like to hear. I heard people say that they have issues with the controls, which feel jank in terms of platforming. So hearing this makes me feel super relieved because I want to have a good time and not get frustrated by playing with my boy Pac-Man over here. Damn straight! It also seems that the flutter jump from G Ghostly Adventures 3DS makes it's gonna make a return. The flutter jump remake is always like a plus, I guess, in like platforming, and I guess it's a nice and additional touch. I'm glad to see that it might be making a return. Glad to know it's a mechanic that Pac Man steals from Yoshi. Pac Man, I know saving your wife and child is optional, but. I just find it really funny that they left in the option to leave your family behind. Sometimes I wish I could leave my family behind. Thank you guys all for watching. The Pac-Man Repack game looks like it's getting better every single day. And I can't wait to continue making videos for you guys to watch. Anyways, let me know what you liked about the video. If you're still excited about the game. If any of this information like has a, piqued your interest at all. Anyways, stay bright, Litz fam.